um, but it was for the right reasons, and that was because they just wanted us to be able to learn and grow as individuals and becoming contributing members of society. And that is something that I'm sure that we all, as young individuals uh, in society, are something that we want to promote for our own children, our nephews, and, and so forth, our grandkids. Um, and so I can't thank my mom and dad enough for all that they've done, um, for everything um, to get me to this point. And you know, they continue to inspire me. They continue to believe in me. They continue to give me the opportunities I need. I like to often say that they believe in, more, they believe in me more than I believe in myself. Um, and they, they can say, hey, you can do this, you can do that. And the back of my mind is like, yeah, right. But so they're always there um, giving me the opportunities I need and giving me the encouragement. Um, so I'm very grateful for them. Uh, the Lord has blessed me richly uh, with my two great parents. And as I mentioned earlier, I wasn't a very good student uh, when I was younger in elementary school, up until like second grade. But my mom gave me the best piece of advice that any parent can give you, a child, and that was to pray. And so I was praying to Mother Saraswati, and all of a sudden, like the next school year in third grade, school became very easy for me. It became like a piece of cake. All the way up until uh, my second year in college, never had to study for any exam because I was continually praying to Mother Saraswati. Saraswati Ma here, she is, of course, you hear about the power of prayer, the power of prayer, and when you pray to her, she will give you the knowledge you need to succeed in every every endeavor in your life. Before every exam, I always offer praise to Lord Ganesh, uh, my Saraswati, and Guru Maharaj, Guru Devata, and these uh, prayers is what will help you and be able to propel you forward in life. So never underestimate the power of prayer. Uh, we are all here today because of God. Everything that we've, good that's happened to us in life happens because of the grace of God. And so the grace of God continues to bless all of us. And you know, now I have a degree, I have a job, but I still continue to pray because you always continue to learn. No matter how many degrees or how many titles you have under your name, you're always gonna continue to learn. Because the more you learn, the more you realize, the more there is to learn. Because you can never stop learning. And so learning is an opportunity that we should all seek in life, and we should get the blessings of Saraswati Ma to be, you know, to be able to do so. And I, of course, I, um, I want to thank my extended family as well, my cousins, my chacha, who's, who is the original PhD, the original doctor in the family, but you don't have to show him up, but he couldn't be the only one, so I had to go over there and take over his title. Um, but he, uh, he was a very insp good inspiration, and he was also um, there to sort of um, handle the tidal waves that would come about. He would be able to talk to my parents like, hey, it's a process. It takes a long journey. It's a long journey. Because everyone keeps asking you, when are you going to be done? When are you going to be done? That's the number one thing you always hear. And I say, as soon as I know, I'll let you know. <laughs> but, uh, of course, um, I'm very happy that the end is near and I'm able to start this new chapter in my life. Um, and uh, my two nephews here, uh, they are my driving forces, Vishan and Dave. Uh, when I first started this journey, Dave wasn't born yet. Uh, Vishan was, he was about one years old. And I had, at the time, I just finished my master's degree. And my mom actually, she planted the idea in my head. She was like, maybe you should go for a doctor. I'm like, I don't think I want to do that. It's too long. And then um, eventually, I was looking at my, my nephew. He was just sleeping on the bed. And I said, you know, it would be a great thing to, to be able to be a sort of an inspiration to him and also to be able to give him any sort of uh, encouragement or any sort of mentorship along the way if he ever chose to, to go along this path. So in many ways, the two of them have really inspired me and, and really drew, uh, led me to this path because I don't think I would have done it um, if it wasn't for them, to be honest, um, because uh, they, um, I hope they take your, They take the opportunity. They have their mom if they want to be anything in business. They have their mom if they want to be a comedian. They have their dad. <laughs> they also have. Um, uh, if you, he's a lawyer, so if they don't even want to do any law or counsel. They have him. Um, if they wanted to do anything in business, they have or finance. They have their mousy. And if they ever wanted to do anything engineering, math, or science, they have their mom. And so it's a, it's a great thing um, to be able to give them the opportunity as they get older. And because you want your own people, you want us Guyanese people, indo caribbean people to do well in the world. You want people think of Guyanese, Trinidadian, of Surinamese, of all the indo caribbean West Indians. You want them to have a high, a high connotation of those type of people. And so um, uh, this is something that uh, really pushed me forward. It was a very tough journey, very, very tough. 
there's times when you want to quit, but you realize you can't quit because there's nothing to do afterwards. <laughs> You're too long into it. Um, but, uh, but by the grace of God, uh, we were able to, I was able to get by and, and graduate. And luckily, I um, had a job lined up. Um, and the senior sciences position at that, which I'm very grateful for as well. So I want to thank everyone for coming as well. As I mentioned, you're all very instrumental in this as well because the Mundair is a is sort of a, a, pl a platform where we're all able to gather and all able to communicate with each other. And so one of the things that um, in the, the, my prospective employees liked a lot was my ability to communicate. And I would tell them, oh, if you think I'm a good communicator, it's only because I've been able to be given this platform where I interact with all of, all of you, establish rapport, be able to talk to one another, be able to connect at different levels. And so many of you, in many respects, um, have, able, uh, have enabled me to become, uh, to get this far. And I just want to thank all of you for coming out and showing your support. I want to thank uh, the chefs, uh, the Sheila, uh, the Tara, the entire uh, uh, helm over there up, upstairs um, for cooking, Uncle Dinesh, Uncle Makesh, uh, for always being there. Uncle Dinesh used to be my barber uh, when I was younger. <laughs> and um, he always was there to support me as well. And everyone here, the entire family, uh, the Vasanti family is here too. I want to thank all of you, Uncle Rohan, uh, who uh, he's um, in the in the science, in scientific world, the biotech field. So when I called him, he didn't hesitate. He was there giving me mentorship along the way during the whole job search process. So I really appreciate that. And I uh, can thank everyone, thank all of you. And as my father said today, um, it's all about gratitude. It's all about giving thanks uh, to God and everyone who played a critical role. Jay Shira. Mohan, and he's a great uncle. I love him very much, and I hope to be like him when I grow up. Aww. I have two two great parents, even though I've been raised by two amazing parents. I got I've got two bonus ones now, um, and I'm very proud of all. Uh, you know, I've always looked at him like a little brother, and I've always wanted to protect him and like kind of uh, supported everything he's done. He's just very he's so smart and intelligent. Like, I mean, I've been I've been going to school for I I went to law school. I got my master's, and if I spend five minutes with him, I think. I have to go back to high school. Like, it's uncomfortable how smart he is. And I'm so happy that my boys have another role model that, you know, like a lot of times you can't talk to your dad about things, you can talk to your uncle. And I'm glad that he's gonna be the one that, you know, they're gonna go to for advice about things that they can't talk to dad about, they might be embarrassed. I know for a fact that they have another father figure here that will always be there for them. And, you know, I can't say enough about him. And I mean, you know, like my, uh, like my dad, my dad said, uh, let's find him a girl. <laughs> so, uh, you would speak for both of us, but here I am again, reliving old Monday days when my dad would spontaneously call on me. So thanks. <laughs> um, congratulations to our dear Dr. Mo. Um, I echo what my husband has said in terms of him being a wonderful role model to our two boys. Um, you know, he, they witnessed him with the hard work, dedication, and grit that he has put forward to attain this goal. So 
we are so, so, so proud of you. Um, and yeah, so I guess I am now being not asked, hey, when are you getting married? When are you gonna have kids? And now everything can be on to you. So super excited about that. And yeah, you know, let's go ahead and find him a nice wife so that my kids can have some cousins to play with. Thank you, congrats, we love you. This morning, thank you so much for coming out. Um, I just want to congratulate my brother, who I'm extremely very proud of. Um, growing up, so I don't know if many people know this, but my brother and I are 11 months apart. So I consider him sometimes my twin, even though we do look very much alike. <laughs> but he's the bad one, I'm the good one. <laughs> um, Growing up, my brother always pushed me to the max. He always encouraged me to do my best. And when I couldn't believe in myself, my brother was the one that believed in me the most. So thank you for always being there for me. Um, I hope that God will continue to bless you with many great success. And um, I'll be on a hunt to find him a girl. Thank you so much.